explain construction and working of GM counter. And now you can also get my lecture notes from chepecmedia.co.nf. The interaction of charged particles and gamma rays with the matter is the basis of detection and measurement of the radiation. When charged particles passes through the gas or when the radiation strikes on the phosphor, they produce scintillations. Thus, the device in which radiation produces scintillation or flash is known as scintillation counter. And the device which is used for ionization of the gas is known as Jigger-Muller counter or GM counter. Principle The working range of the potential in GM counter is such that all type of ionizing radiations of different energy produce the current pulse of the same magnitude. The device working in the potential range of 100 to 200 volt is known as ionization chamber. The instrument working in the range of 200 to 900 volt is known as proportion counter. The device which is working in the potential range of 900 to 1400 volt is known as GM counter. If the applied potential exceeds to 1400 volt, the gas starts glowing. If we plot a graph of log of ions or pulse of current versus potential applied, the upper graph curve is for alpha particles and lower is for beta rays. Construction GM tubes are made in great variety of sizes and shapes from 1 cm to 100 cm length and from 0.3 cm to 10 cm in diameter. The common length which is used in the laboratory is having 10 cm and diameter is 2 cm. The GM tubes are made up of copper metal. These are fused with hard glass. A tungsten wire is suspended at the center coaxially. The tube is filled with 90% argon and 10% polyatomic organic gases or vapors such as methane, ethane or ethanol. These gases are known as quenching gases. The function of quenching gas is to prevent the formation of secondary ion pairs. A satisfactory quenching gas must possess the following properties. Its ionization potential must be lower than the main gas present in the tube. When it is in the excited state, it must dissociate rather than emitting the photons. Advantages It produces large pulse, require little further amplification. The device is simple to operate. It is cheaper used in laboratory for surveying radioactive contamination in food material. It can be used for detection of alpha, beta and cosmic rays. Limitations It cannot be used for the accurate measurement of X-rays as they have least ionization ability. The particles may fail to respond if a second particle arrives before the positive ions are drifted away from the electrode. For drifting, the time required is 0.001 to 0.0001 seconds. It means for this time the instrument is not giving any response. The above time is known as dead time for the instrument. If the radio element is capable to emit more than 10,000 radiations per second, the instrument fails in that case. As the radiation source is kept outside the counter, where large number of radiations are lost. We can measure only that fraction of radiation which passes in GM tube.